What's up? I'm John Vaughn. I'm the founder and CEO of Tier 5, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick demo of the Friend Disconnected software. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to install it from the Google Chrome store. We just click install, add the extension. What I like to do is click up here and then essentially pin the extension to my taskbar so I can access it anytime I want, really easy. Then we're just going to log into the extension, put in your username, put in your password, and then just go ahead and click the login button. We'll log into the extension. Once we log in, usually the very first thing that I like to do is click up here in the settings. Um, we're gonna go to the settings and then we're just gonna change how back we wanna analyze. I like to analyze back 180 days and look back 180 days on my post and analyze that. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the dashboard and later on we're going to show you and I'll show you everything here in the dashboard all it actually does. But the very first thing we're gonna to wanna to do, like I said, make sure we check our settings and I like to put it on 180 days. You can put it on whatever you want. Uh, and then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to sync and analyze. You can either use this sync and analyze or you can use this sync and analyze. They're the same thing. So either click this one and click or click that one. So we're gonna sync and analyze. What that's going to do is it's gonna sync and analyze. So it's gonna bring in all of our friends uh, and then it's going to actually show us how many in the last 180 days or whatever you set your settings to, how many reactions they've left on our post, how many comments that they've put, how many messages that they have. It's gonna show us our, their gender. It's gonna show us the country that we think they're from, the tier level, if they're active. Um, I'm whitelisting right now, so I'm whitelisting my wife. You can go in and actually whitelist people. Here are all the deactivated profiles on Facebook. They're no longer active. So you can see these profiles are actually deactivated. So. What I'm gonna do with these deactivated profiles is I'm literally just gonna click right here, I'm gonna select all of them, and then I'm just gonna select this unfriend button, and then you'll see what friend disconnector is going to do. Friend disconnector is going to go in, and it is going to unfriend all of them. So they're all getting unfriended right now. Um, these are just deactivated profiles. Their profiles aren't real anymore. Facebook's deactivating them. So it's gonna go in and actually unfriend them. So. <coughs> If you haven't noticed, we do have a delay time. We don't let you change this delay time because we don't want you to get in trouble with Facebook and do things too fast. So now you can be doing other stuff while this is running. You can be doing other work. You could be spending time with your wife, playing catch with your kid, throwing a ball to your dog, pooping, um, sleeping. You can do whatever you want and this will just automatically go in and unfriend people. So it's going to go in and actually unfriend everybody. It's just going to be there unfriending everybody. So you can see right now it's unfriending Brian and it's going to wait some time and then it will go in and it will go in and actually unfriend. It will go in and actually unfriend Brian. So you can see everybody is getting unfriended. Right now I'm just unfriending these deactivated profiles. You can go back in the dashboard and you can look at the engagement and you can find the people who are engaging with your post and then you can select those people, however many people you want, and you can unfriend those people just like I'm unfriending these deactivated profiles here. So you're kind of getting the sense of how easy it is to actually use Friend Disconnector. You literally just install it, log in, set your settings. How far back do you want to scan for engagement? So I selected 180 days. So we're going to look at the last 180 days of all the comments or all the posts that I've made on Facebook. And we're going to see in the last 180 days who's been commenting on our post, who's been reacting on our actual post. All right? So I've already unfriended everybody. I've unfriended all these people. You'll see them here. Here are all the people that I've actually unfriended. These lost are people either you manually unfriended or they've unfriended you. Friend connector saw them or friend disconnector saw them at some point of time and then somehow they're not on your friends list. Here's all your friends. You can go in and actually filter. Here you can see all the people they haven't actually commented on any of your posts. These are dead weights on your friends list. All right. Uh, so you can select these people if you want and you can go ahead and unfriend them. I do want you to know that this friendship age right here is not how long you've been friends with them on Facebook. We actually don't have any way to get that information. The friendship age is basically when is the first time that friend disconnector has seen that friend on your Facebook profile. So even if you're not going to unfriend anybody, it's still important that you use friend disconnector and run your scan once a day so it can always be finding your new friends and we can get an idea of how old your actual friends are. So here I'm un unfriending those people who didn't engage with me. And then again, you'll see over here, uh, 
the people that you've unfriended. I do want you to know that the sync and analyze feature, you can only use once every 24 hours because again, we don't want you to get in trouble with Facebook. We don't want anything to happen to your Facebook account. So you can only run this sync and analyze. You can only do that once every 24 hours. All right. So this was just a quick demo to show you how friend disconnector works, how it scans in all your friends. Uh, you know, you'll get their profile picture, you'll get their name, you'll get their friendship age. Like I said, this is from the very first time friend disconnector has seen this person, which is why all these people say one hour, because it was just an hour ago that I actually ran this scan and scanned all these people in. So you can see how many reactions that they've left on your, on your post in the last however long you analyze for. I analyze for 180 days. So you can see how many reactions that they've left. You can see how many comments that they've left. You can see how many messages that you've had with them. You can see um, if they're male or female, you can see the country that we think they're from. This isn't always accurate because again, we can't get this data from Facebook. So we use a third party API to make an inference based on their name. You can see what tier level the country is from, if you've had conversations with them, and if they are actually considered an active friend. Over here, you can see all your friends. You can see the whitelisted tab. So basically, you can just, if you want to make sure that you don't unfriend somebody, like, like I don't want to unfriend my wife, you can just click on them. And once you click on them, you can click add to whitelist and they'll be removed from this list and they'll be added over here to the whitelist so you don't accidentally unfriend those people. You can see here are all the deactivated profiles on Facebook. And here, like I said, you can see lost. This lost is people that friend disconnector saw on your friends list and you did not use friend disconnector to automatically unfriend them and they are no longer on your friends list. So maybe you unfriended them manually or maybe they unfriended you. Um, but Friend Connector saw those people on your friends list once upon a time. It knows that you did not actually use the software to unfriend them and they are no longer on your friends list. And again, here it will show you all the people that you've actually unfriended. And just keep in mind, um, this feature here, the sync and analyze to pull in all your friends and analyze the engagement that they've had with you once every 24 hours so you don't get in, in trouble with Facebook. You can see it's grayed out right now. You can't run it again because I just ran it. After 24 hours, you can run that again. And then to unfriend people, simply you just literally click the checkbox of the people that you actually want to unfriend and then click the unfriend button. And it's literally that easy to use the software.